Hello, everybody. Welcome again to One Question a Day, Learning Incrementally. The question that we are going to discuss is dentinogenesis. It often occurs as a short notes or a part of some other question in essay. When it is asked, you need to say what is dentinogenesis, the process, how the differentiation of odontoblast from papillary cell occurs as a product of reciprocal induction under the organizing influence, the secretion of dental matrix, the calcifications, the matrix vesicle theory, a part in about dentin, interglobal or dentin. To jump into the answers, dentinogenesis is the process of dentin formations from the odontoblastic cells. They often begin in the late early to late bell stage of tooth development and often initiated at the cuspid or incisal ledges and progressively progresses downwards. The odontoblasts are differentiated from the ectomesenchymal cells that are derived from the neural crest cells and mesenchymal in origin. They are ectomesenchymal in origins. They are derived from the dental outermost layer of the dental papillaries cells and adjacent to the inner enamel epithelium. Morphologically, they appear to be tall columnar cells with a central large oval nuclei and of length about 25 to 40 milli, uh, uh, micrometers and diameter of 4 to 7 micrometers. Under the organizing influence of the inner enamel epithelium in the uh, early bell stage, by the secretion of uh, signals, they turn into odontoblast. The outermost layer of the dental papillary cell turn into odontoblast. And before dentinogenesis, there is an acellular zone between the inner enamel epithelium and the dental. Acellular zone between the inner enamel epithelium and the dental papilla. And it is filled by sub-odontoblastic cells. And they undergo a reversal of polarity. The nucleus got polarized away from the inner enamel epithelium, paving way for the formation of odontoblast. The odontoblast develops many small processes at the formative end that starts to deposit collagen matrix, which is also called as predentin. And this stimulates the formation of ameloblast to secrete enamel matrix. This is called as reciprocal inductions. Deposition of collagen matrix by the odontoblast. Initially, type 3 collagen of about 0.5 to 0.2 micrometers is secreted. They are also known as one cross fibers, which are corkscrew shaped and deposited 90 degree to the DEJ. They are hydrophilic. Later, these one cross fibers are changing their orientation, becoming parallel to DEJ, and more matrix is formed. There is a centripetal migration of or a migration of odontoblast towards pulp, paving way for the formation of Tom's fibers. And the rate of deposition of primary dentin is about four to eight micrometers per day in active secretion and secondary dentin, that is later phase of life is one micrometer per day and even less as it progresses. The mineralization begins once the matrix is about five micrometers thin. The protein, dentin phosphoprotein binds and transports the calcium induces hydroxy apatite secretions and controls the crystal growth. The uh, protein osteonectin serves as an inhibitor for this hydroxy apatite cretins and promotes binding to collagen, creating a strong network. The other mature other components such as proteoglycans inhibits the premature mineralizations in the predentin. The calcification of matrix initiated by the small crystals within the matrix vesicles and explained best explained by the matrix vesicle theory. And that causes the progression of the uh, newly secreted dentinal matrix. Matrix vesicles are small membrane bound uh, components that has alkaline phosphatase and high phosphate with some tartaric causing the formation of hydroxyapatite crystals. These crystals grow rapidly, ruptures the matrix vesicle, fuses with the adjacent cluster to form a continuous layers of mineralized matrix. The pattern of mineralization is mostly globular, where the hydroxyapatite crystals are deposited as several discrete areas of matrix. 
they grow enlarges to form globular masses and that fuses to form a single layer of calcified mass that subsequently enlarges and this phase is called as radial crystal growth and the area that is devoid of mineralization constitute your interglobular dentin the less known pattern this is the globularization is the linear or straight line the rate of dentin formation is very slow and linear formation is still more low mineralization for unknown reason appears to be more uniform in the circumpulpal dentin than in the mantle dentin root dentin formations once the enamel and dentin formation reaches the cej the epithelial hertwig's root sheath formation occurs once that is there it stimulates the radicular dentin formation but it is much slower less tubular that brings us to the uh, end to the discussion on the process of dentinogenesis stay connected with our channel to learn more incrementally and happy learning till we get connected again on one another session of one question a day